It's the Kelly and Ken Show at 914. Our next guest is from Lexington, North Carolina. His new single is called Wildfire. Here's a clip. It's taking me back there, out in the summer air, under the train bridge, hanging a rope, swing, taking a wild dare. Live like we don't care, wake up with fear, drums ringing from all night singing. Let's bring him in. Ross Copley, good morning. How are you, man? Good morning, man. Doing great. Doing great. Before we talk music, we've got to talk hair. <laughs> That's the best hair in country Look music. Look at that hair. Well, you know, I mean, it's, uh, it's an electrical oh. socket, man. All you got to do is oh, oh, yeah, oh. straight in. Get a shot of the hair. Yeah, dude. Look at my... I'll take my headphones off. Look at my hair. Worst hair in country music. <laughs> facing off with no. the best hair Look in down. country... Look down. Look <laughs> down. Ken's videoing. All right, so give me three hair care tips. Three things I can do differently with my hair. Ah. Uh. Man, I, th- I think it looks great, man. Don't say I mean, that. It's got that little salt and pepper look, man. It's, that's kicking it, man. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's kicking it. I dig mm-hmm. it. Ross is being nice. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> All right, man. Hey, talk about Wildfire the single. Did you write it? Where'd it come from, dude? Yeah, I, I did, man. Um, that's actually uh, a song that I wrote with a real good friend of mine. Uh, I had a lot of people, man. They just kept telling me they wanted to, you know, ask me when I was going to write a song about my hometown, how, you know, where I grew up. But, you know, I just wanted to do a different spin on it, man, and I uh, I wanted to take it to how I grew up and the things I did, you know, because everybody can relate to that. You know, you, you're from a town, but it's the memories you make there and the things you do that really kind of, you know, kind of set it up. And it, I guess in a sense, you know, just I want everybody to kind of feel their own wildfire. Yeah. So. I was so busy looking at his hair, I didn't notice he has a beard, too, and his beard yeah. is better than I mine. I was going to say. Dang. Gonna, it, although, mm, see, that beard wouldn't work on you. That's the boy band. You're rocking the boy band right there. What have I you, got? You've got the Grizzly Adams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. see, you can pull off the boy band. How old are you? Uh, uh, well, you know, <laughs> 20, 20. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, okay. Yeah, all right. 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 Yeah. I, can't, I can't rock the boy band beard? Not anymore, man. Just the Grizzly. Uh, yeah. All right, man. Yeah. Dude, is there an album on the way, or is that already out um, there? We're, we're working on a, a new EP right now. Uh, it's going to really be based around kind of uh, Wildfire, how the how the whole sound of that is, and, and in that direction. There is an EP that's out from uh, 2013 that we put out called uh, Feels Good to Me. Yeah. That was from that single. There's like eight tracks on that. But I really, you know, and going from 2013 to now, writing as much as I have, and, and really kind of marketing everything, it's really going the direction that I really see my career heading in. So I'm really excited about what's going on. How tough is it? When I think of writing a song, I think of, you know, overlooking the mountains, being inspired by, you know, the majestic you know, scenery around me. But that's not the way it is in Nashville right now. You kind of go into a room, you sit down at a table, and you try to crank out a song and throw out a few ideas, right? Yeah. I still, man, you know, I'm, I'm very old school mentality with things. I, I, you know, grew up, Garth Brooks was huge idol yeah. inspiration of mine. So for me with writing, it's, it's one of those to where I still try to bring in elements elements of you know that to it or you know at least the mountains the right. scapes like i like to be more visual and instead of just you know kind of being certain spots i love touching and being a little more in depth with things yeah. so it, it's just it's it's different every time you go into a right but it's always inspiring and creative and you know Look at that he called it a new. right a right he doesn't I, even call it right i want to start calling it a right am yeah. i allowed to do that or yeah. do i have to be yeah. a writer to call it a right no Okay, go for it. Okay, cool, man. All right, let's do a song live. You want to? Yeah, sure thing, man. We'll premiere Wildfire here in just a few minutes. You want to do something else? Absolutely, man. Um, I'll I'll play you a new one that uh, it's actually I really enjoy it. Um, it's a little bit slower tempo, but it's uh, it's like I said, it's a little bit different. There's got some twists in it as far as you know the way things are said, but uh, this one uh, is a. One of my favorite ones is one of the new ones we're going to have on the the new project coming out. What's it called? uh, Never Rains in Los Angeles. All right, his name is Ross Copley with a song he wrote during a write. Live in the studio this morning on 100.9 The Farm. It looks like the weatherman was calling for sun again. Big surprise. Seems like that's all we ever get. The 75 fifth of July was driving the coast head of mine. And no way I could have known what was up ahead. The sundress on a summer day, your hair back in your favorite shades. You whisper goodbye like somehow maybe I should have seen it coming. Should have seen something was wrong Blue skies And not a single cloud inside But my eyes are well enough Cause you've had enough And who says it never rains in Los Angeles? Mm-hmm. In Los 
Los Angeles It feels like a hurricane Just ripped right through my heart It made a mess of everything It tore it all apart Now it's a beautiful day And all I can say Is I just never thought it would end this way In a sundress on a summer day Now maybe I should have seen it coming Should have seen something was wrong Blue skies And not a single cloud inside But my eyes are well enough Cause you've had enough And who says it never rains in Los Angeles Let the tears start falling down Let the pain start pouring down In a sundress on a summer day Your head down as you walked away If this is goodbye, then somehow maybe I Should have seen it coming, should have seen something was wrong Blue skies, and not a single cloud in sight But my eyes are well enough, cause you've had enough And who says it never rains in Los Angeles It never rains in Los Angeles mm -hmm. In Los Angeles Oh man, that is good. Ross Copley live in the studio this morning on the farm. Dude, you're the total package. You can sing, you can write, you got the best hair and arguably the best beard in country music. Oh man, thank you so much, man. The hair, that really uh, you know, makes me feel good. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> How long does it take to get the hair looking like that in the morning? Because for me, it takes four minutes to get this hair it's, looking it's this good. It's about the same about way. About four minutes, yeah. right? You know, it's kind of got that out of bed look to it. So. Impressive, yeah. man. <laughs> my hair has got that I need to go to bed kind of look. I feel like that's how my face looks a lot of times with uh, 